Hey everyone, it's Megan from Mother Hens Homestead. I am going to be talking with you all today about hormones and hormone health and the herbal approach to it. Um, so I've teamed up with Dr. Caitlin Smith at Within Wellness um, to do this little mini um, hormone um, workshop series or video series with you all. Um, and I figured I'd jump on and talk a little bit about the herbal perspective. Um, so if you were to work with an herbalist like myself, um, typically either you do that by purchasing herbal products. Um, lots of people buy just herbal products because they hear it's good for this or that, um, like at the, you know, um, natural food store or wherever you would buy your supplements. Um, but today I'm going to talk a little bit more about working with a, an herbalist or an herbal practitioner um, to get one of more of a one-on-one -on -one approach to um, working with your hormones in supporting your hormone health. Um, so typically when I would work with clients is when they've tried some herbal remedies and it hasn't really worked for them or they just don't really know where to start when it comes to herbs. Um, I work with them on not only the herbs, but also on um, their diet. Um, there are certain dietary changes that we can make and help um, put our body back into balance, um, whether that's you know, foods that support hormonal health, whichever hormone um, is needing that adjustment, um, we can, you know, figure out a dietary plan to help with that. Also, some lifestyle changes I will also talk about and work with you on. Um, but a large part of what we're going to do is just figuring out what the core or root cause to a lot of these issues are. Um, a lot of the times when we're talking about hormone health, um, the liver plays um, a lot into that as well as pancreas. So um, diet plays a huge portion into how your hormones are um, affecting your body and your overall um, whether they're balanced or not, right? Um, so anyways, um, so there's a, a bit of a different approach that I would take with every single client that comes to see me, um, depending on where that cause is um, and figuring that out. Sometimes the imbalance to our hormones could be as simple as like, you know, eating something that we're um, having um, an allergic reaction to, or like we're sensitive to, or things like that. Um, and I know that Caitlin will be talking a lot about um, diet and gut health and how they kind of intertwine and interconnect. Um, but I would like to maybe spotlight some herbal products that can help. Um, some people, not all, right? Um, herbs are not a one size fits all. So um, obviously each herb would sort of be specific to your own needs um, and what's going on with you in your body, right? Um, but I'd like to highlight a couple that I feel like most women could benefit from, right? Um, so I think my first one, when we're talking about hormonal health throughout a woman's whole life, right? Um, so that's like menarche to menopause. Um, we could all probably use the support of chase tree berry, especially when we're talking about hormone and hormone imbalances. Um, so chase tree berry is um, an herb that is very specific to helping women balance the hormone health in their body. Um, so it's something that you would take every single day um, to help to kind of keep those hormones in balance and in check. Um, so chase tree berry is one of the herbs that kind of takes a while to um, build up in your body and until you start seeing the effects. So it's very slow acting, um, but over the long term, it's very supportive to um, balancing out your hormones and supporting your hormone health. Um, so this one would be like at least one to three dropper full a day. 
Um, I usually take mine in a little bit of water. You could also put it underneath your tongue. Um, chase tree berries, most likely the best form to take this in is a tincture. Um, it's easiest, I feel, um, to just like swig it back real quick. Um, it does have somewhat of an unpleasant taste, so I don't know that you'd want to make a tea out of it, right? Um, but chase tree berry is probably one of the number one things that I will um, give uh, women coming to see me with hormonal issues to help balance their hormones. Um, so that one's definitely a number one um, of my herbs that like I would go to for most women, right? Um, now another one that is great for hormonal balance, um, but particularly, um, as we're hitting the perimenopausal and menopausal phases in our lives, although, um, this is an excellent herb to incorporate throughout your lifespan from, you know, menarche to menopause, right? Um, wild yam. So wild yam, I have in two forms. Um, I also have it dried as well, but I mean, like I said, it's better. Most cases for some of these herbs, they just taste way better in a tincture or I have a topical wild yam cream. Um, so wild yam is an amazing, um, thing for hormonal, hormonal balance, but it's also great for, um, when you have your period and you have really heavy cramps. Um, it's really great at easing tension, um, in the body in general, not just in the uterus. Um, but it helps to relax muscles, right? Uh, so wild yam is a great one to help to balance hormones, um, get things back into, into check. Um, and why it's particularly good for women later on in their lifetime um, is because it has um, some well, it's like has it contains a precursor to estrogen, so your body is more able to um, make its own estrogen because you're taking it, right? So as we're aging, our estrogen levels really go down. So um, wild yam, either internally via tincture, um, I'm sure maybe some tea blend somewhere may have it in it. Probably not the best tasting on its own. Um, but tincture is what I would do, and I use my wild yam cream daily. So now, how you would use this is you would just apply, I don't know, like a large pea-sized amount to anywhere on your body. Um, ideally, you'd want to choose like a different spot each day, but it really doesn't matter. Um, your body's going to absorb it either way. Um, it's great to apply, you know, down in your pelvic area when you're, you know, menstruating or the week before, um, just to ease cramping, right? Say you have like a stiff, short, store, short, oh God, I can't even talk. A stiff, sore shoulder, um, you could rub your little dose on your shoulder that day. It would help to ease the tension and give you those hormonal balancing benefits, right? Um, so yeah, those would be like a great thing for just about anyone. Um, and I don't want to take too long. I think I'm already talking too much. I had some others that I could just maybe say very briefly, these are great for women and women's health. Um, but they're, they're not necessarily helpful for hormones. So I'm not going to mention it. Um, so some other things that I have great for hormonal health. Um, so I have a couple different, um, blends that I've created. Um, one is my PMS support blend. Um, so that is great for, you know, anybody that is menstruating still. Um, it's great to help balance the hormones, helps, you know, with PMS symptoms, um, as they come right the week before our periods helps to kind of keep that imbalance and in check. Um, and then I have my menopause support, um, tincture blend. Now this one's great at balancing your hormones that are triggered from that, um, loss of estrogen and that, um, and because you're either perimenopausal or menopausal, um, helps to support your, um, 
hormones in all the things that are going on as you're going through that change. Um, so this one's another one that's super beneficial um, for that transition and that change. Obviously, none of these are a one size fits all um, and are very, you know, dependent on you know, you and what is going on in your body. So I typically always suggest to potential clients to come in, make a consultation to work with me or another herbalist um, to, to figure out what it is that your constitutional type needs, right? So these, you know, blends might work great for you. They might not work, you know? So it's, it's very specific on person and herb a lot of the time I found. Um, but these are a great stepping stones. So if you're just like trying the herbal approach and you're like, oh, what, it's one thing that I could take every day. You know what I mean? That could help me in balancing my hormones in some of the issues that, you know, hormone imbalances can cause. Um, so anyways, please feel free to reach out and chat if you have any questions um, or would like to work with me at all. Um, or if you'd like any of my products, Caitlin has them at Within Wellness. Um, most of them should be there. Some of my single tinctures might not be. Um, I don't really keep a ton of those there. Um, but yeah. Anyways, you know where to find me. It's at motherhenshomestead.com. Um, you can make a, an appointment straight on my website or you can message me through social media or email me at motherhenshomestead at gmail.com. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in with me and I hope you enjoyed this and got some information out of it. Take care.